Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I got another Skyrim creation kit tutorial for you this time, but first let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button and then share it on your social media. While you're sharing it on your social media, follow me on that bird app because I can use a few more followers on Twitter. Look down in the description for the link to my Twitter page. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and click the notification bell for all. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below the video and I'll get back to you guys. Those are all the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look down in the description to use that Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, use the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys, let's get into this. Okay, guys, here we are in the creation kit. What have I got for you this time? We're going to learn how to make a pair of enchanter's gloves or a necklace or something of that that has the fortify enchanting enchantment on it to where you can break it on the enchanter's workbench. So we're going to do that. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I made me a plugin called Enchantment Gloves, and it has all of the base game files here. It's going to absolutely require Dragonborn ESM for sure. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your magic section here and go to magic effect right here and type in the filter Enchant. And it'll give you this one here, and you'll see the uh, Enchant Fortify Robes Constant spell uh, enchantment here. Bring this up, and you can go ahead and just rename this. Uh, use your prefix, whatever you use. In my case, it's M9. M9 underscore 40 by enchanting and I am going to put I am going to just leave that like that you want to make sure to name it uh, go go ahead down here you can no hit event you want it painless no hit effect and the rest of it the rest of the flags recover and all that no duration no area you don't want to do no magnitude. You want to leave that. And it says enchanting as the associated item. You don't have to worry about any of this other stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to push OK on that. It's going to ask you to make a new form. Push yes. And that'll put it up right there. So that's our enchanting effect that we're going to need. All right. Now we're going to make our en actual enchantment. So click on enchantment in the magic section right click pick new give it an id we're going to need to make a base enchantment first so give it a, your id and this is going to be fortify enchant base and we're going to over here in the effects we're going to right click choose new and in the effect here, we're going to choose our Fortify Enchanting effect. This is where you give it your uh, magnitude. Now, this is how many points that it will increase your enchanting skill. I'm going to go with uh, 275. So I'm going to push OK on that. Uh, the base enchantment doesn't worry about it. But Warren Restrictions, you have to have one of these. I usually just pick Archery, Enchantment Archery. You can pick anything else you want. I wouldn't pick like Light Armor, Heavy Armor or that. I'm just going to pick Enchantment Archery. So we're going to push OK on that. There's our new one. And we're going to want to go ahead and open that back up. And we're going to change the prefix here fortify enchanter fortify enchantment and we're going to 
choose our base enchantment here. Now it will already have the magnitude up for that. So that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and make a new form on that. And save our mod. Real quick guys, something I need to uh, point out. In your fortify enchanting base, you are going to need to give this a name. Fortify enchanting. Push OK. And make sure your fortify enchanting here is fortify enchanting. Because if you don't name it, it won't show up in the enchanters menu with a name. So that is a good thing there. We're going to go ahead and save your plugin. And let's let's move on. All right, so we have our enchantments. Now we need to put it on an item. So we'll go ahead and close that and open our items tab. And we're going to go to our armor here. And I'm going to type in necklace for this. Well, wait a minute. I'm going to type in gloves. And it's going to give us all the different gloves in the game. I'm going to choose the... Uh, Magical tuning gloves because they're they look unique So we're gonna go ahead and open this one up open that record up and we're gonna change the uh, ID on this and we're gonna call this enchantment gloves like that and we're going to call these the Master Enchanter Gloves. Right? And then we're going to choose our Fortify Enchantment. Not the base, the Fortify Enchantment. Just like that. Uh, armor rating doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter on armor. Any of this, the weight, doesn't really matter. Make sure they're playable. Make sure there's no kind of ma the magic disallow script or whatever go ahead and make a new form and then open that back up because you need to remove the script right here so we're going to go ahead and push ok and open it up again make sure and we're going to go ahead and in the description we're going to put in Increases enchanting skill. So we're going to push OK on that and we're going to save. Now we have those. I have a test cell that I made. So we're going to go into this test cell. And this little test cell has a enchanters thing in here. So we're going to want to put one in here now here's a little trick these might fly around I don't want my snap to grid on these might fly around a little bit so first thing you're gonna do is open that click don't have settle go up to the scripts push add and type in this filter default this and then you want to choose the default disable havoc on load and then click on properties and the first three properties go to edit value and make sure they have false that way this these gloves will not move even if you shout at them so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put we can, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this back up here and I am going to spawn container. No, that, that's not going to extra. And I'm going to put, I'm going to go to the extra tab and I'm going to put a count of two in there, there. So now it'll give me two of these. Now I'm going to need me some, uh, soul gems and some stuff to practice on so i need me a container and that will be in their world objects container close this 
And uh, I'll just use an empty barrel here. And I'm going to rename it. M9 underscore Enchanter Barrel. And we're going to just push OK on that. And we're going to open that back up. And new. And I could put the Enchanter's Gloves in here, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to need some Soul Gems in here. And I'm just going to use some Grand Soul Gems. And I'm going to push 10. And then new and ring wait armor ring armor okay and now i need some or actually it's jewelry right i'm gonna put a gold jewelry necklace in there and i'm gonna do another one and i'm gonna do a gold silver and then just a silver ruby ring. That'll be okay. So, I'm going to take that enchantment barrel and we're going to stick it in there like that. So, that's all set up. So, let's go ahead and go in game and test this all out and see if it works. Okay, guys. Activate Test Moron. Test Moron does not have any skills. He's a level one. He's completely stock. He has nothing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into our test cell. TOC 000 M9 Enchanter Cell Test. And that will take us to our Enchanter Cell right here that I made. And there's our Enchanter's Gloves, and you get two of them. We're going to take those. We're going to take the Grand Soul Gems and the gold, gold Ruby Ring. Now, I need something to, as an enchantment to use. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to use Add Item Menu. And I'm just going to grab this here, Adept Hood. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to make sure we can break our enchanter's gloves master enchanter's gloves so you can see it says increase enchanting skill that's what we put in there that's good and we're gonna and you learn fortify enchantment from destroying this item okay that's one and what'll happen is is it'll level you up quite a bit uh four levels i believe here Remember, I was a level one. Now I'm a level four. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dump this couple of these perks into the enchanting skill. And then one here. And that's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to this here. And I'm going to break the Adept Hood so I can learn the enchantment. And then I'm going to go here and I want to do this silver ruby ring and you can you can choose to enchant this with fortify enchanting or you can fortify the magicka and it says it says it increases your magical skill by 28 points and that's completely dependent on uh, what your enchanting perk is so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll go back to this. And go back into here. And let's say I want my iron gauntlets to increase my magicka. So I want to put on my enchanter's new enchanter's ring that I just made, which is a silver ruby ring. And I can go ahead and increase my iron gauntlets. 
and I'm going to increase the Magicka, and it increases it by 28 points. Like I said, this is dependent on what your enchanting skill level is. If it's 100, it could be quite a bit more. Now I have this that in, it increased my enchanting skill. Increases my magic by 28 points and this that's how it works. Alright, so yeah, that works guys. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Help test more on out. Smash that like button if you like the video and then go ahead and share it on social media. And while you share it on social media, follow me on that bird app. The link is in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet already and click the notification bell for all. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below the video and I'll get back to you. Those are the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link for a one-time tip or the subscribe star to join as a channel member. Otherwise, underneath the YouTube video, click on the join button or the super thanks button. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. And remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. And always watch the skies, traveler.